Hello, I'm going to be going over lesson number five for the worksheets. So you have two points and you have this equation. So what you basically do is you use these two points to find the slope. M is equal to y1 minus y2, x1 minus x2. So because this is your first point, this is your first point, you put x1, y1. And because this is your second point, you put x2, y2. Now what you do is you now that you have defined these variables, you can put them into this equation. y1 is 9. y2 is 2. x1 is 0. And x2 is 1. So you, you just do the math. 9 minus 2 is 7. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And you get slope is equal to negative 7. Now, in this, in this um, question, it's asking you to find the slope-intercept equation, this one. But we don't have the slope. So what we can do is we can use what we learned from here to find the slope. And how we do that, m is equal to x1, y1, x2, y2. x2 minus y1 minus y2, that would be negative 4 minus 6. x1 minus x2, 3 minus 5. Then you get negative 10 divided by negative 2. And what you get in total is 5. So we know that our slope is 5. Now with that information, we can plug it into our equation. y equals 5x plus b. Now we need to find out what b is. And the only way to do that is we have to plug in our numbers for x and y. And we have x and y over here. So we just plug it in. 5 times 3 equals negative 4 plus b. Now 15 plus b is equal to negative 4. Subtract 15 on both sides and you get negative 19 equals b. Now you know that the equation is actually y equals 5x minus 19. And that's your equation. So moving on, find the standard form equation ax plus y, by equals c. So we have an equation 5y equals negative 1x plus 9. Though this is this form of the equation is actually in the slope intercept form, not the standard form, which is this. So what we have to do is we got to manipulate this equation until it looks like this equation. Um, the standard form equation. So what what do we notice one different thing about these two equations? Well, x and y are on the same sides for the standard form equation, while y and x are on opposing sides. So we can see here, y is on one side, x is on the other side. That's the slope intercept form. But if we want standard form equation, we got to move this over. So if we do 5y x plus 5y is equal to 9. And that's your standard form equation. Now, you have to find it in the point slope equation, and you have to use this. Well, we already have the two points, x1, y1. In this case, they didn't put anything in there, but that's the initial, initial x and y. So what you have to do is write it like this, x, y, x1, y1. Now, you just got to plug, uh, plug in the information that you have. So 6 minus 9 is equal to m, x minus x1, which would be 2 minus 3. And then you would get negative 3 is equal to m, negative 1. Now, if we divide negative 1 on both sides, we get m is equal to 3. That means that our slope will be 3. So, if we put it back into the point-slope equation using one of these points, we can define this equation. So, y minus, in this case, 6 is equal to 3, because that's our slope x minus 2. 
Now, this isn't the only point slope equation that you can use. You can also create this one. y minus 9 equals 3, x minus 3. These, these are the, this equation is the point slope equation for this point. This equation is the point slope for this point. Moving on. Solve the system of points. So now you have two points, and to, um, to solve this, you would 